All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Racha, Kordash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing his truth and sincerity. And also to you women and children, keep on enduring because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is very near. Okay, for those of you who don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, meaning he exists or he is to be. Yahushai is his beloved son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, Yahushai, meaning he saves or he is the deliverer. Okay, this is uh, Rakha Kodash, is Spirit Holy, pronounced in English as Holy Spirit. This is how you say the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in the Paleo Hebrew. Also known as ancient Hebrew, aka the Holy Tongue. I'm your brother Bashar, and I'm coming at y'all with a quick um, video dealing with this picture that the brother, I believe he's from um, California. Um, he posted this uh, picture. It says American History Quiz brought to America in chains at the bottom of ships, blacks. Black lives, B, all lives. Okay, now this is dealing with primarily the southern nation of of Israel, okay? Because, you know, they got this whole thing, this whole Black Lives Matter movement, which we know is uh, ran by uh, Esau, but... No, this is a good point. Whoever made this, um, this this uh, picture, because there was this, you know, phrase that came out: "All um, Black Lives Matter." Okay, and then shortly after, our oppressors came out with the term "All Lives Matter." You know, as Basically, um, basically saying that, you know, we don't really care about you, okay? All lives matter, okay? But what they didn't care to realize is, you know, we were, we were, uh, the, the reason why you know, our people um, use this term a lot is because we've been treated. And when I say we, you know, I, I, I'm not I'm not only talking about the southern nation of Israel, I'm talking about the, the northern nation of Israel as, as, as well. You know, you so-called African-Americans, so-called Native Americans, and so-called Hispanics. Okay? And you Israelites that look like the other nations because you were scattered amongst the other nations, the ones that be likened unto the speckled bird. Okay. You know, we feel like our lives don't matter here. You know? Now, let's go into the picture. It says, American History Quiz brought to America in chains at the bottom of ships. A. Black Lives be all lives enslaved in America for over 400 years. A, black lives, B, all lives. So basically the answer to all of these questions are, you know, black lives. And this is just to make a point that, you know, our lives do matter. Um, but we understand why, you know, those of you who are to know those of you who are in the truth and, and, and know, we, we understand that the Lord set this devil up to rule over us. You know, to rule over us as a punishment. The scriptures say that um, the wicked is the most high's whipping stick. Let's get that scripture. Okay, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 17, verse 13. Arise, O Lord, dis disappoint. Hum, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy 
sword. Now we know that the wicked is so-called white man. Okay, Esau Edom. And the Lord is using him to basically chastise us. Okay, this is why we feel like we don't matter over here. Because they don't, they don't, they have a, 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 a anger towards us. All right. That they can't control. And it's because the, they are the wicked and we are the righteous. And they don't, you know, righteous and wicked. It's like oil and water. They don't mix. Okay. And the scriptures also say that this is not our rest. Okay, so just to ex give a brief explanation on why we feel that way. Well, we feel this way because the Lord um, you know, set us up here. This is like a brought, brought, brought us over here as a punishment. Okay, we had we had a a, a, a sentence to to. Uh, we were sent here for a sentence, all right, and now that sentence is almost up, but we shouldn't be crying about um the rights that we don't have in this place. We should be we should we should be slacky, we should cry, but we we shouldn't be crying to them. They ain't got no power. We should be crying to the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Okay, he's the one that's going to deliver us out of this place. But we have to repent, be born again. Okay, you can check out my last video I made about being born again. Check it out. But we have to be born again. We have to turn to the Lord and seek his seek his ways and learn his ways. The law, statutes and commandments and show love towards the Lord. What is love? Love is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, let's get that. Okay, this is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Okay? So we got to turn to the Lord, worship the Lord, and we have to repent and practice, rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability. All right? Obviously, we don't want to be over-righteous, but the point is, turn to the Lord. And we wouldn't have to worry about whether if our lives matter, you know, the Lord is going to make, he, he's going he's gonna to make it known that we matter because we are his chosen nation. We are his chosen people. And he's going to make it known. Okay, this is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 22. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished. O daughter of Zion, he will know. Okay, so right now we are in a time where the Lord is going to lift up that punishment from off of us. And he's going to allow us to seek vengeance upon our enemies. Okay, which we're going to find out later in this verse. Let's continue reading. O daughter of Zion, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. How do we get carried away into captivity? When you go into that, to that little history, well, to that picture, you see that they mentioned the Atlantic slave trade. The Lord brought us here, brought well, primarily the so-called African Americans. The uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Okay? Which are you so-called African Americans, you so-called Jamaicans, and you so-called Haitians. Alright? Lord brought y'all here. And along with us, you know, we, to serve as a punishment. We brought y'all over here. Because we, 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 we were already over here catching hell. So, you know, then, then, then he brought y'all over here. And then we started catching hell together, you know, and to serve a what? A punishment for our iniquity. 
but the scriptures are saying that that this time is 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 accomplished is about to be accomplished let's continue reading he will no more carry thee away into captivity he will visit thy iniquity o daughter of edom he will discover thy sins okay so the lord is we see him bringing this place down by the way of its infrastructure by the way of its currency so on and so forth we see this place circling down the drain these are signs that we need to repent because if we don't repent we're going to sink along with the ship meaning when i say ship we're, we're going to you're going to get destroyed along with these heathens from the destruction that the lord is about to bring upon this place so you got to repent now okay and i'm not saying everybody's going to be destroyed by through the, the destruction because the lord is going to bring a uh he's going to cause people to get destroyed from various different ways prior to the destruction okay so even now you should be you, you should be fearing turn to the lord and repent okay when you i recommend you brothers and sisters read deuteronomy the 28th chapter because the lord tells us what's going to happen if we obey and what what's going to happen if we disobey all right so i'm gonna leave y'all with that lord willing you brothers and sisters was edified um so next um I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahab Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kordash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing his truth and sincerity. And also to you women and children, keep on adoring because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is very near. This is your brother Bashar. Lord willing, brothers and sisters, was edified. Shalom.